Hi everyone, Maggie here, and I want to um, welcome you to the Crafters Cafe uh, YouTube Hop. Um, some friends and I have um, decided to do a fun project, and uh, if you look in the description box, there'll be a link to the other participants' um, projects. And basically what we did was we picked a food that goes with cream and we based our project on that. And as you might be able to see by um, my project here, I picked strawberries and cream. And I made it into a cupcake doily album. So this is it. <clears throat> And I think it it's full enough to be a cupcake. <laughs> I haven't made a cupcake doily album in a while, so this was really fun to do. Um, let me first show you the cover here, the front cover. And I wanted each page to kind of just look like a layer of a cupcake and so I picked laces and trims um, that would do that and for the base of it I used doilies and then um, for the top layers I covered the doilies in this beautiful um, strawberry colored um, it's like a velvet and this was sent to me by Virginia, 1468. And um, I thought it was just perfect to go as like the frosting layer. And then I went all around the cupcake with this beautiful little trim here. And I added little clay flowers to each flower on the trim all around. This flower here I didn't make. This is this flower was gifted to me by um, Irina, uh, the passion for craft, and she made me a whole garden of flowers, and I used them very sparingly. But when I was going through um, my stash, I was looking for the perfect flower to put on the top, and I just thought this this is perfect. So she made this like loopy flower and look at that beautiful bling center in the middle. And then she had some leaves, a curly cue and some um, feathers. And I just thought that was perfect. And then on the side, this is also from Irina. And this is the most gorgeous hanging flower. Um, they're Kanzashi petals and then um, I don't even know how she did this but she made this herself and it's absolutely gorgeous and I just love it so I hung that on the side I thought it was perfect the colors were perfect and it just it just looked perfect and I used a red um, binder circle thingy <laughs> to hold it all together and then I put pink seam binding to cover it up. And then <clears throat> let me show you. This is the first page and I kept it fairly simple. I didn't want to make it too chunky or overdone and this beautiful trim here was from Trisha um, and it just framed the picture perfectly. I added this little tiny lace here and then flat back pearls and as you can see there's like three or f there's one two three there's four layers of doilies in between so that's that page then for my next layer is the flower page <clears throat> and I added this dangle trim and this is from Natasha and I thought it just, I needed a dangle and this went perfectly. And here's some more of that beautiful uh, material from V. And then I made this flower 
um, oh, a long time ago. It's a doily flower with a flower applique on the top and a little um, beaded um, bridal applique. And then the next page. <clears throat> it's morning, so you can tell by my throat. I apologize if it's if it's irritating to you because it's definitely irritating to me, but unfortunately there's not much I can do about it. So this is the next layer, and I added an image. Um, I think it was from the same series as this one here, and... I surrounded that with this um, uh, recollections frame. It's a um, it's a lace frame, and I added rhinestones in the middle of all the little flowers, and then I added this beautiful trim here, um, like a little more than halfway around, and then on each side I added these beautiful. Um, embroidered appliques and then underneath that another you know few layers of doilies this is an antique doily it one of those fabric doilies okay and then for the top of this layer <clears throat> there's another flower here you can see that beautiful material more I added this trim this is from Elegant Embellishments. I added it all the way around, and then I added the green and pink uh, little clay flowers. And then I added this pink doily, and then these little flower appliques, and then little wild orchid craft flowers, the one of their small roses. And then this fabric uh, rosette in the middle, and I put a, a full pearl in the middle of that. So as you can see, I'm, I've kept the pages rather simple. I didn't want to take away from um, the, you know, the cupcake part of it. So here's the last image, and I think this is my favorite page. I took this trim and I just gathered it and then I added this beautiful rhinestone piece in the middle of that. Um, I added this little daisy trim around the um, the photo with tiny rhinestones, even tinier than the other ones. And then this beautiful bridal applique, I, um, well I wouldn't call it dye because I used the Tim Holtz Distress Markers so I colored them. The pink is the Victorian velvet and the green, I can't remember what the green was. I think it was, um, even though it's so light, I think it was a forest green because what I did was I mixed the color with a lot of water to, um, to lighten the color as much as I could. And I think <clears throat> the colors came out perfectly. It matched her dress like perfect. And then um, up here on either side of, of the gathered flower, I added this tiny little um, doily and then this flower applique here and more rhinestones. And I did that on each side. And then that's the, that page. And then the last page is a pocket page. Um, this is uh, one of those round fabric doilies. Um, that's uh, embossed and I doubled it over so that it had a little more strength to it and then I added this flower lace here um, a little applique and flat back pearl I added this trim on the bottom and then these two trims on the top this one's an embroidered trim and then this pink one on top of that <clears throat> then above I added this um, bridal applique and it was it already had color to it so I was able to leave that as it is and then there's like three sets of doilies in this one and then here's the back I kept the back simple also um, I just added 
after the doilies, I added a small, smaller doily, and then I added one of these rose doilies, and then um, a rhinestone piece in the middle from one little dreamer. And then that's the back. And so, let me just pull you up a little bit. And so this is my cupcake mini for the Crafters Cafe. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> so, um, please go visit <clears throat> the other crafters that played along and um, leave them a, a comment. Watch their videos because everybody's um, projects, I'm sure, are absolutely beautiful. I haven't seen them. We've all kept our projects a secret from each other. We, we've known what colors... Um, with the cream everybody was doing, but we don't know what they were doing, and we didn't see um, we didn't see the finished product. So I am going to hop on over to the others also to see what they um, created. So thanks for watching, everyone. This was really a lot of fun. Um, I hope we do something like this again, and uh, maybe we can get more uh, crafters involved. So, all right, I will see you soon with another project. Have a good day and take care. Bye for now.